to enable.org presents mathematical literacy probability tree diagrams compound events a way to determine possible outcomes when we have compound events now compound events is when two or more events happen simultaneously right in other words when two things happen at the same time or one after the other but we consider the, the two events simultaneously okay a way to determine possible outcomes when we have compound events events is to draw tree diagrams okay now this is an example of tree diagrams you flip a coin twice and the question is display in a tree diagram all possible outcomes so remember the key word here is tree diagram so we'll have to draw a tree diagram to display what will happen when we flip a coin twice okay so there will be a first throw which will either be heads or tails okay that's the only two options that we get when we are flipping a coin in the second throw after we have thrown our heads we can either throw heads or tails or after we have th uh, throw a g or after we've got a tail we can either get heads or tails so this is a whole tree diagram of when we're flipping a coin twice all right so the outcomes are heads and heads so in this branch on we can go heads and heads then we can have heads followed by tails we can also get tails followed by heads or tails followed by tails so there are exactly one two three four different outcomes when we flip a coin twice All right so use your tree diagram to determine what the probability is to throw two heads in a row right so this is the tree diagram we just use the only option to throw two heads in a row is by starting with heads okay so we'll have to throw heads and then we'll have to throw heads again right so what is the probability the outcomes are to throw heads there is a one out of two chance to throw heads again there is another one out of two chance right to throw heads is one out of two and then to throw tails is one out of two again to throw tails is half one out of two to throw heads is one out of two to throw tails is one out of two and to throw tails is one out of two now to get the um the com the compounded re result we have to multiply the two outcomes together so heads heads will be half times half and when we multiply fractions we multiply the tops one times one is one two times two is four so that equals quarter so all these different outcomes is a quarter so there's a quarter chance of throwing heads heads there's a quarter chance one out of four chance to throw head tails there's a one out of four chance to throw tails heads and there's a one out of four chance to throw tails tails okay so the probability to flip a coin twice and getting two heads is quarter now previously we could have we also we also did um, to convert or we there's another way of um, displaying quarter and that is with a percentage right so to convert quarter to percentage we can go a quarter times a hundred
if your calculator does not have a fraction button remember you can go 1 divided by 4 on your simple calculator and 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.25 so on your simple calculator you can say 0 0.25 times 100 and that will give you 25 and please remember the percentage sign so the if there is a quarter chance of flipping a coin and getting two, hands, he, two heads, it means that there is a 25% chance of flipping a coin and getting two heads. Right, the third example. What is the probability to flip a coin twice and getting a different outcome? Right, now a different outcome means you will either have to get heads, tails, or when your first throw is a tail, your second throw must be a head. So you can either get heads, tails, or tails, heads. Right, getting what? Either heads, then tails, or tails, then heads. Right, so this was the, th uh, this is the uh, okay, just a quick look at the tree flipping tree diagram, the coin flipping tree diagram again. Right, so the probability to get heads, heads is quarter, heads, tails is quarter, tails, heads, quarter, tails, tails, quarter. So, what is the probability to flip a coin and getting a different outcome? Right, the probability of getting heads followed by tails is quarter. The probability of getting tails followed by heads is also quarter. So the combined probability is a quarter plus a quarter. And that gives us two quarters. Now, to simplify the fraction, 2 over 4, divide by 2, divide the top by 2, divide the bottom by 2, we get half. And that as a percentage is 50 out of 100 which is 50 percent right the previous one we just said how we could also go half times 100 which is will also uh, which will also give us 50 percent so there is a 50 percent probability of flipping a coin twice and getting a different outcome you throw a die twice right remember uh, when we have the, okay, maybe, okay, so, sorry, I beg your pardon. Display the probability to get a multiple of three in a tree diagram, right? We usually speak about dice, which in fact is a plural of one die. So we will say one die, two dice. Uh, okay, so that's why we're throwing one die twice, right? And a multiple of three is a number that, that are found in the three times table, nine, namely 3, 6, 9, 12. Right, so those are all multiples of 3. So in on a die, there are two multiples of 3, which is 3 and 6. Okay, in the third, first row, we can either get a multiple of 3 or not a multiple of 3. On the second throw, we can either get a multiple of 3 or not a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3 or not a multiple of 3. Okay, so the outcomes are either a multiple, multiple, or multiple, not multiple. Not multiple, multiple, or not, not. Alright, so they are four different outcomes. There are actually very many outcomes, but instead of, of saying we can throw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're just considering the question and we're saying, well, it's either a multiple of 3, which is 3 and 6, or it's not a multiple of 3, which is 1, 2, 4, and 5. Right. So, okay, sorry, let's quickly go to the previous one and the previous one and the previous one. Okay. I 
Okay, so we have to use our tree dog. No. Right, so display the probability. Okay, so this is the probability, the tree diagram of getting either multiple of three or not a multiple of three. So this is example four answered. Now example five, we have to use the tree diagram to determine what the probability is of getting a multiple of three. Now there is a two out of six chance to get a multiple of three. Now when we simplify two out of six, we get one out of three. And the reason why we're rather going to use one out of three instead of two out of six is because two out of six is an unsimplified fraction. And then we still have to simplify the answer. But when we use one out of three, a third chance, we don't have to we often don't have to simplify the answer. Okay, so we'll use a third, and then a multiple of three is another third. The second branch, yeah, sorry, uh, the second branch, multiple of three is third, but now not multiple of three, first I have to calculate. There is four chances of getting a not multiple of three. Remember, it is one, two, uh, one, two, four, and five. So there are four out of six chances to get a multiple of, not a multiple of three. When we simplify that, we get to two th out of three. So there is two out of three chance to get a not multiple of three. Okay, so not multiple of three, two out of three, followed by a multiple of three, which is one out of three. And the last one, not multiple is 2 out of 3, not multiple is 2 out of 3. So we have to know what is the probability of getting a multiple of 3. So here, on this branch, we get a multiple of 3. On this branch, there's a multiple of 3. And on that branch, there's a multiple of 3. So let's quickly get the combined outcomes. There's a 1 out of 9 chance to throw a multiple of 3 followed by a multiple of th out of 3. So it's 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9. And because we have we use the simplified fraction, we get a simplified fraction answer. 1 out of a uh, multiple of 3 mul followed by a not multiple out of 3 is 2 out of 9. Not a multiple followed by a multiple again is 2 out of 9. But to get two not multiples of, th of 3 is a 4 out of 9, John. So the combined is a ninth. This ninth. Sorry, where's my pen? Whoops. That ninth. That 2 out of 9. And this 2 out of 9. So remember, because they have the same denominators, we'll go... 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5 over 9. So there is a 5 out of 9 chance to get a multiple of 3 when throwing a die twice. Okay, uh, using our simple calculator, we take the numerator divided by the denominator times 100, and that gives us a rounded answer of 55,6% chance of throwing a multiple of 3 out of a multiple of 3 out of two throws. Use your tree diagram to determine what is the probability to get a number that is not a multiple of three. Okay, where do we get a not? Here is a not. There it is. That two out of three is a not a multiple of three. There is a not. That one. And here is a not. So the combined probability is 2 out of 9 plus 2 out of 9 plus 4 out of 9. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8 and its it, the uh, denominator remains the same. As a percentage, we take the numerator, divide by the denominator, times with 100. So there is an 88,9% chance to get a uh, to throw not a multiple of 3. And it doesn't matter whether you're throwing it in the first row or the second row as long as you get not a multiple of 3. 
Thank you.